What did you were in? No. No electricity. Indoor plumbing? No. No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nice way to spend Christmas. Praise God. Even the poorest of us have got it made over here. Yeah. We have power on and we have uh, indoor plumbing and we have heat and air conditioning. And we got food. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, I've been in those villages where you, uh, well, actually, in the, uh, I can remember when I first went to other countries, I was raised with uh, taking a shower of hot water, and in many of those countries, even they may have running water, but they don't have hot water. And uh, I used to always say, oh, Lord, I can't, I can't handle this shower. <laughs> so one time I was in Jamaica, that difficult place down there, Hallelujah. Uh, Flo teases me about being in Jamaica. <laughs> but uh, I was in not the resort areas of Jamaica, and they didn't have run, they didn't have hot water and running water. And I prayed. I said, Lord, I just can't do this. I can't take a cold shower. I don't want to take a cold shower. I sound like a real wimp, don't I? But anyway, <laughs> I, 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 I I just uh, asked him, said, Lord. And so I went to take a shower, and somehow the uh, the uh, water is held in a storage bin, and I guess the sun heated it, the S-O-N, because whenever it uh, came for me, it was plenty warm. And it, they didn't have a hot water heater, so that's the answer to my prayer. God's uh, grace in the midst of me whining and belly aching, I reckon. Praise the Lord. Well, you know, when you get used to it, but however, it's fine. I mean, I, I have learned in whatsoever state therein that I'm in to be content. That's what Paul said. Amen. And that scripture is uh, rings true so many times, especially if I'm traveling. Where, where my wife uh, is in the Philippines, she is used to cold showers there. It doesn't bother her so bad, but uh, it did me for a season, but I reckon I could handle it if I need to now. Rufina. Praise the Lord. If you even had a shower at all, you may have just had to bathe out of a bucket, I reckon. But, uh, that's the case, or maybe go down to the river. Hallelujah. But, you know, we're blessed. She said we're blessed. That's what she means. We're blessed people here. We take this cause for granted. We are blessed people. Hallelujah. Everybody needs to travel out of the country at least one time in their life. And uh, you'll come back and thank the Lord for what you did. Yes, sir. Amen. <coughs> well, I want to mention to you that we have school starting up coming up soon. Uh, it's on Thursday night. And uh, the main course is, I brought the books this morning, or some of the books. It's The Gifts of the Holy Spirit by Dr. Lester Summerall. And... Uh, it covers, uh, you know, what are the spiritual gifts of the Holy Spirit. Uh, it talks about, in detail, the gift of prophecy, tongues in public ministry, the word of wisdom, uh, the church operating in unity and love, the word of knowledge, gift of faith, gift of power, working of miracles, and the devil's counterfeits of the nine gifts. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty intense course. I previewed some of it. And uh, couldn't stop watching it. It was really, really good. And you, even if you don't go take the school as a school, you just want to come and learn about the gifts of the Spirit. This is a great opportunity. And it answers a lot of questions. And will help you to flow in this anointing. If you'll come and learn of it, you'll flow in it. And so I encourage you to do so. Uh, these books, we ask $10 for the book. If you can, uh, if you can't pay ten dollars, then uh, take the book and then pay us when you can. How about that? Is that fair enough? But uh, I have five, I believe five of them back there, and I have more at home. But if depending upon how large the class is, I may need to order some more. So that's why I brought them early. If we, if they all get gone, then I'll get some more. Um, but. I encourage you to come. It's on Thursday night at 8 o'clock. It'll be from 8 to 9. We're going to run two sessions a night. We used to run it in 30-minute segments. That was nice. 
However, uh, it just drags so long. It takes six months to do it that way. We're going to finish it in three months. We're going to do two a night. And, uh, so come prepared. Yeah. Well, I'm also ordering a course by Brother Kenneth Copeland that would be another course that would run the same time but not the same hour but we start at our prayer time at 6 30. And it's his teaching on prayer. It's 30 minute segments on prayer. Included in that course you'll need to stay for the prayer time to actually practice what you learn. How about that? Praise the Lord. So, but you can just come and be a part of it if you don't want to take it for class credit. Starts at 6.30 on Thursday nights. We're going to start it on the 17th. I'm kind of going back and forth on the date, but we'll, we'll start it on the 17th, which is coming up soon. And it'll run every Thursday night. Um, and I encourage you to set the time aside and come. If you can just come for the prayer part, come for that. You can just come for this, come for that. You can come for all of it. You'll really be blessed. Because uh, it's good stuff.